Hello doctors and FMG aspirants. Myself Dr. Sasi. I cleared my FMG in Jan 2023 with a score of 238. And I completed my NEET PG with a rank of 1401 in 2024. With my experience and expertise in NB pattern of examination, today I am with you with must know and most important topics for your upcoming FMG examination. Next, we will move on to our giant subjects which is the medicine and surgery. In medicine, there will be approximately 30 questions will be there. So, it will be always interlinked with pharmacology and pathology. Okay. We will go system wise. In respiratory system, what is the important topics? If you see this asthma and COPD management part and their classifications. Classification. These are the two things you need to know for this respiratory system of asthma and COPD. Next about this type of pneumonia and their management. Like how will you diagnose or how will you differentiate this pneumonia from X-ray? Like pneumotensile formations in Staph aureus. Okay. So likewise, how will you be able to differentiate this different types of pneumonia? Like community acquired pneumonia. Okay. And the in, in hospital acquired pneumonia. Fine. And about this ERDS type. They will ask you about this. Which type of ERDS is this? And how will you manage them? Fine. And about this pleural effusion. Mostly what they will do, they will based on this criteria, they will ask you whether it is a transitative type of pleural effusion or an exudative type of pleural effusion. Fine. And the next topic, it is the most important one. They will ask from the pathology, pediatrics and medicine perspective. They will ask you about this pathophysiology of this cystic fibrosis and they will ask you to diagnose this. Fine. And this one, they ask from this anesthesia also. So, they will ask you what is the type of respiratory failure. So, they will give this classical history and they will ask you which type of respiratory failure can be seen in this patient. Okay. For example, if it is post-operative, you will think of type 3 respiratory failure. Okay. Next, CVS is the must-do topics from the medicine and CVS, they will ask this JVP and ECG findings for sure. So, JVP, what they will ask? They will ask about this A wave mostly, CV wave, X descent, Y descent and their comparison in constrictive pericarditis and cardiac tamponade. Okay. The next one, it is what it is the ECG findings. So, ECG findings, you should at least know for the WPUW syndrome and also for the hot blocks. So, these two ECGs, you must know them. Okay. So, you should know this two ECG for sure. Whereas, rest ECG, you may know or you may not know and it is easy to interpret for also. Fine. And about cardiomyopathies, you should know about HOCM and dilated cardiomyopathy. And in the MI part, which is the most important part from the cardiology, you should know about the diagnosis and the type of MI and the type of MI and what is the management you will do. Like if it is STEMI, non-STEMI, how will you proceed with the management part, fine. And about this arrhythmias, you should know how to diagnose them or how they look in ECG like AFib, ventricular tachycardia, PSVT and VFib and what is the preventive methods and what is the management in a case of acute scenarios. So, you should know this ECG findings and their proper management. Okay. And about the renal system, you should know this CKD staging. AKA types, mostly this differentiating between this pre-renal and renal type of AKA. Fine. And also about this nephritic, nephrotic syndrome differentiation. How will you differentiate between this nephritic syndrome and nephrotic syndrome? How will you able to diagnose them? And if you diagnose them, what is the management you will do for them? Fine. And the next one, it is the type of renal tubular acidosis. What are the types of renal tubular acidosis? In which of the following findings you will see in type 1, type 2 and type 4. Okay. And about the rheumatology, you need to know about the SLE diagnosis and their management part. So, we saw in pathology also. In diagnosis part, we will mostly rely on the antibodies. So, you should know about this antibody part and what is the management you do, you should know. Fine. And the next part, it is the dermatomyositis. You should know about the clinical findings you will see in a case of dermatomyositis. Fine. Mostly the clinical features, the cotton pebbles, heliotropic rash. They will ask you with the image, the classical history. Fine. Next, from the CNS part of the medicine, you should know about the types of headache and their management, like the migraine and their management. Fine. And about these syndromes, Guillain-Barre syndrome, myasthenia gravis, multiple sclerosis, mostly on their diagnosis and how will you manage them. And this is, this is the most important part for the both medicine and microbiology perspective. They will ask you about this types of meningitis based on their CSF findings. And this can also come in pediatric part. So, three subjects included. 
pediatrics, microbiology and the medicine. So it is the must know topics. And you should also know about the spinal muscular atrophy. You should also know about the spinal muscular atrophy from the CNS. Fine. The final parts of GIT. GIT you should know the small small things like malaria vice chair and Boerhaave syndrome. You should know about how will you diagnose this celiac disease with the HPE examination. And you should also know about this ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. What is the management you do in a case of ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease? You should know. Fine. And from the hepatobiliary system, you should know about this classification of this hepatitis based on the viral markers. So, based on the viral markers, how will you classify this hepatitis and Wilson's disease? How will you make this diagnosis? Are the clinical features like KF rings? And next one, it is the conjugated and unconjugated bilirubinemias. You should know this Dubin Jonathan syndrome, Rotter syndrome, you should remember. Fine. And about this liver cirrhosis, you should know about their complications and management of their complications. Fine. And you should finally know about the ascites and how will you identify or how will you differentiate this type of ascitic flu. Fine. So, in medicine part, the most important one, what are they? They are this respiratory system, CVS, and the final one, which is what? Which is the endocrine. So, you should know these three systems for sure before going to your examination. Fine. The third one, it is the endocrinology. So, in endocrinology, you should know about the management of diabetes mellitus. You should know about the oral hypoglycemic drugs and the insulin part. And you should also know about the DKA drugs. Fine. And about the Graves disease and its clinical features. Graves disease features and what are the drugs you will use for hyperthyroidism. The same for Hashimoto thyroiditis. What are the drugs you will use for hypothyroidism. Fine. And you should know about the classification of this men syndromes and causes of this hyperparathyroidism and the test which we use for this Conn syndrome and Addisonian crisis. They will give this classical history of this Addisonian crisis like low BP, low sugar and they will ask you which of the following test you will use to determine the cause of this condition. So it is what? It is the Addisonian crisis. Fine. You will use this ACDH stimulation test. Okay. And you should also know about the Clinical features seen in a case of Cushing syndrome. Fine. In a case of Cushing syndrome, and what is the etiology for this Cushing syndrome? Fine. So, these are the must know and most important topics from the medicine point. So, if you know these things, you will be able to grasp the maximum number of questions. So, you will be able to get at least 25 questions correct from the 30 questions. Fine. Just remember one thing that time is now. So, you should make use of this PDF or this video for sure. And if you able to make use of this video, you will able to get your pass mark and you will able to get maximum mark from your FMG examination. Okay. I am waiting to see you with the other side with colorful colors of passing the examination. Thank you for watching the video. Bye-bye.